Hello friends, welcome to Suresh Agarwal's Mathematics Shortcuts. Another video for my junior students. This time I'm going to take up the basic rules for multiplication and division of integers. I'll tell you why this topic is really important. You know, in my previous video uh, based on this, uh, you know, topic of integers, I took up the sign conventions when you have to add or subtract integers. And I told you some of the basic rules which will help the students crack all those problems of addition and subtraction of integers. Now there are separate rules or sign conventions when we have to multiply or divide integers. So when we do this topic of multiplication and division, you know those sign conventions of addition and subtraction, they intervene or the students, you know, often get confused what to do, where to do. So let's clarify this in this particular video. Let me tell you about our app, the newly built app Learning Loop. You know, all the worksheets which I keep on telling you, even the worksheet based on this concept which I am taking up, are already uploaded on the Learning Loop app. This is the logo of the app. You can just visit the Google Play Store and download the Learning Loop app. I'm sure you are going to find it so beneficial and so informative. You can buy very, very nominal costing. You know, when I say nominal costing, it's really very nominal costing. Validity based ebooks, test series, worksheets, everything is there. Even some video courses we have already put, in, put up on the app. You can watch some free videos on the app. You can download some free stuff also uh, from the app itself. For details, you can send me a message on WhatsApp 9896369963 is my number. And the link of the Learning Loop app is given in the description box below. So you can just click that and visit Google Play Store, download it, you will find it amazing. So friends, what are the sign conventions for multiplication and division of integers? You know, when we add or subtract integers, there are rules. The first rule says, suppose you are doing minus 7 plus 13. One of the integers is negative and the other integer is positive. So the first thing you have to find out is what to do, whether to add or subtract. Because one integer is negative and the other is positive, a negative and a positive makes a negative therefore you will subtract the integers so 13 and 7 irrespective of which integer is greater you will just subtract them 13 and 7 the difference is 6 correct now the second thing is which sign to put in the answer which sign to put in answer now that is another thing 7 is negative and 13 is positive right so the larger integer is positive the answer always attain the sign attains the sign of the larger integer so we will have plus 6 as the answer now this is what i told you in my previous video and we practiced so many addition and subtraction problems and so many of you downloaded the pdf from our app or you can visit the website also www.sureshagarwal.in that's my name in the website name sureshagarwal.in that's the website name you can download the practice pdf based on this concept also so when we added and subtracted we took care of these two rules one what to do based on which signs are there for the integers and if you combine those two signs what do you get and second which sign to put in the answer so the sign of the larger integer comes in the answer. Now, when we multiply or when we divide the integers, you know, what to do is pretty obvious. If there is a multiply sign between integers, you have to multiply them. If you have to, div uh, if you have to divide it, obviously there will be a divide sign, right? So, what to do is not a problem, but which sign to put in the answer is a problem. Now the sign convention for this is you need to see the sign of all the integers which you are multiplying. You have to find out how many negatives 
or how many negative signs or negative integers are there in the question so how many negatives if the number of negative signs are odd then your answer will be negative if the number of negative signs are even then your answer will be positive now this is the rule which you have to adopt for multiplying and dividing the integers when you are dividing the integers and one of the integers is positive like suppose you are dividing 24 by minus 8 so the upper or the integer in the numerator is positive and one in the denominator is negative so we have only one negative right one negative means odd number of negatives and so your answer will be negative because odd gives a negative result so 24 divided by 8 is 3 so minus 3 will be the answer but if you have if you are multiplying like you then you will have more than one integers more than two integers or you can have like 10 to 12 integers which you are multiplying and suppose if you are multiplying minus 1 minus 2 minus 3 minus 4 minus 5 minus 6 all these integers are to be multiplied then you just have to count the number of negatives so there are six negatives six means even so the answer will be positive and after that you just need to multiply the numbers the whole numbers one times two is two two times three is six six times four is 24 24 times five is 120 and 120 times six is 720 so plus 720 will be your answer for this question so basic rules you know you need to avoid the confusion you know what to do when you are adding or subtracting and what to do when you are multiplying or dividing the rules are a little bit contradictory you might say confusing and it's under, uh, understandable you know when you are committing errors you are learning first time the topic of integers lots of errors creep in and that's where we need to be smart you know if those errors continue in subsequent classes then you know solving uh, problems of topics like uh, rational numbers you know wherever negative integers are involved it will be a difficult job and especially when you get into algebra right so be careful about these rules let's apply these rules for solving some questions look at look at this question first question which is written here 11 times minus 6 times minus 2 times minus 2 so friends it's a problem of multiplication right we are trying to multiply the integers and when we multiply the integers we just count the number of negatives so in this question we have three negatives you can see the first bracket is positive uh, the first integer rather is positive 11 and then minus 6 minus 2 minus 2 so three negatives and three negatives are odd number of negatives so your answer will be negative so for this question the answer will be minus and after that you just have to multiply the whole numbers 11 times 6 is 66 66 times 4 that's 6 for the 24 and 26 264 so minus 264 is the answer for the first question for the second one it's very similar to the one which i showed you in the previous slide minus 1 minus 2 minus 3 minus 4 and minus 5 are to be multiplied so how many negatives there 1 2 3 4 5 all 5 are negative right and 5 negatives will always give you a negative result and they because they are odd number of negatives so negative and then multiply the whole numbers 1 times 2 is 2 2 times 3 is 6 6 times 4 is 24 and 24 times 5 is 120 so the answer is minus 120 you can have problems where plus minus multiply divide everything is there in a single question now that's where uh, you know we have to be sure that we know all the rules we are able to apply all those rules to crack the problems easily look at this question there's a big bracket there this one and in this bracket you have two negative integers which are being multiplied minus 15 and minus 6 since both the integers are negative two negatives even number of negatives your answer will be positive so the answer is positive and 15 times 6 is 90 so within the bracket you have plus 90 and then divided by let's have the second big bracket you are adding something right and when you add something you cannot have two signs together so when you add you have to ensure that you convert two signs together into a single sign so plus and minus becomes a minus a 4 and then this 90 we even if we remove the brackets and the plus sign there it doesn't matter divided by minus 5 minus 4 
two negatives make a positive but this time what we are going to do we are finding out what to do because we are adding or subtracting integers in the second bracket so minus 5 minus 4 what to do addition because minus and minus make a plus so addition and which sign to put that is the second decision the larger integer sign and the larger integer is negative so my answer is negative and since we have two signs together we'll put the minus 9 in the bracket now if i have to divide 90 by minus 9 there is only one negative sign now we have to count the number of negatives so only one negative sign means odd number of negatives my answer will be negative and 90 divided by 9 will give me 10. So minus 10 is the answer for this question. A very important question because this question has, uh, you know, all the rules being applied, whether it is addition or subtraction, whether it is multiplication or whether it is division. Everything is applied in this question. Friends, you can find innumerable such questions in the worksheet, which we have already uploaded on the website, www.suresh.agarwal.in. You can find that in class 7th uh, PDFs and on the our uh, very new app it's called learning loop app so download it from the play store right now and I'm sure the cost of those ebooks and you know validity based ebooks is going to surprise you very very nominal costing ebooks but very important for all the teachers to download this app go for the content teach the students ready-made worksheets, ready-made practice material you can give to your students. I'm sure you're going to find it amazing. Friends, if you like this video, do share it with all your friends so that they can also be benefited. Do subscribe the channel and click the bell-shaped icon for getting all the notifications. Thanks for watching this video and all the best for your practice.